Hi everyone, I'm Dawn Viola for Chef2Chef.net and today's segment is all about tart doughs. There are two basic type of tart doughs. One is pat sucre and one is pat sabli. And really the big difference is the addition of sugar. Sucre has a little more sugar than a pat per se and sabli has much more sugar than both of those versions. So I've got in my bowl my flour, butter, sugar, and salt, and you can see my sugar's a little bit on the brown side. I've used organic sugar, and I've used a lot more than what would normally go into a pie dough. So this is going to be a pat sucre. And I have here a pastry blender. The pastry blender is extremely sturdy. The tongs are not going to move anywhere, so they're really gonna help me cut in the butter. And just like pie dough, you want your um, pastry dough for your tarts to also be a little bit on the flaky side rather than the mealy side. Now the, the sugar is going to create more of a mealy texture than you would normally have with a pie dough, but you still wanna have a little bit of that flaky tenderness that you have with the characteristics of a pie dough. So I've got my butter in here, which is very cold. And again, if you want those nice flakes, it's really important that your ingredients are cold. Okay, so we're cutting in the butter, and just like with the pâte presse, which is the pie dough, we want to have varying sizes of butter, anywhere from a nickel to a dime. Um, Pea-sized shapes are what you normally hear described, and that's great too. But the most important thing is that your butter pieces are not all the same size. So the difference between doing your tart dough by hand and your pie dough by hand is, again, the addition of egg. So I'm going to add my egg now. I'm going to beat it a little bit with my pastry blender just to kind of break up the yolk. And then I also have um, the addition of ice water. So I've added my egg first because your ice water is always going to vary. It's going to vary because of the moisture in the air and how your flour has absorbed some moisture. And then also because of the addition of egg. So I'm going to start with three tablespoons of water Plus we have our egg in there. And we'll mix that together and see how the dough is coming together. All right, I do not need to add any more moisture to this dough. So I'm gonna pull it together with my hands, knead it for a second, and then we're gonna wrap it and let it rest in the refrigerator for about 30 to 40 minutes before we roll it out. 